Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are going to test the durability of the Mini Cooper on a journey. I'm about to take a three hour drive to Pennsylvania. So follow me on this quick journey. This is not the first time I'm taking a Mini on a quick drive. The thing is, I've never filmed it. And last time I actually took the Mini to Pennsylvania to pick up some parts and it was a very nice drive but that day I forgot my camera so I decided this trip I'm going to film it for you guys to see how the Mini Cooper can be handled a three hour trip. Now I'm going to drive in total six hours because it's one trip that I'm going to Pennsylvania and coming back to Maryland on the same day. I will see how you know the seats are in terms of durability, are they comfortable and things like that. All those things I'm going to point out at the end of the video i'm actually driving to go and pick up some parts for the e36 m3 that is sitting at home just because you know those are cheap parts and i just could not pass on them so i'm actually doing this drive picking up a few things and hopefully soon we'll install it on the car i just came to the bank pick up some cash for the toll put some costco gas i'm full on tank so let's go so I have to admit that I drove 30 minutes already just to come to this location, which is kind of like on my way. So this is 30 minutes away from my house. I left the house about 5.30 just because I wanted to be here when the gas station opens. So let's go ahead now and start. So I have ways and let me put the address where I'm going and let's go. Let me make sure that everything is set here. Seems like we are go. I'm not really going to do a lot of talking, so soon I'm going to fast forward, show you some clips of me driving. Then once I get to the location, I'm going to pretty much explain everything I have experienced during the three hour drive, then pick up what I came to pick up, then bounce. But for right now, let me, uh, let me put that on spot mode a little bit, hear some pops for you guys. I know you guys want to hear this. All right, sport mode activated. When you put in sport mode, one thing that you have to see is that right now the engine temperature is at 219. Soon enough, it's gonna start dropping and average about 160 Fahrenheit. You see, it's going and dropping now. If you point right, if you check right here, it's at 190 right now, dropping. In sport mode, the engine temperature is cooler than in regular mode. That's why I want a lot of people tuned that like that feature to have sport mode uh, engine management, temperature management enabled. I'm not sure if you can pick up the intake. Let me downshift a little bit, let you hear that. Did you guys pick that? on the way here Oh, nice. 
stop this nonsense. I'm on the highway now. I don't want any state troopers on my ass. So the point of the video is really to do the durability test. And on durability test, you don't always drive very hard. You, you really more of a cruiser. So that's exactly what I'm going to do because I have a three hour journey ahead of me and I just don't want to start any nonsense right now. So from now, I'm going to fast forward a bit and then see you once I get to PA. Let's go. Updates. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it started snowing. This is not something that I've planned for. So, um, I mean, since we're here, we're just going to continue the journey. But yep, it is snowing in Pennsylvania. And I have about 70 miles to go to my destination. Then I have to start driving back to Maryland. So, wish myself luck. <laughs> if it gets crazy, I hope you can see these flakes. If it gets crazy, I will definitely film just to keep you guys updated. But yeah, it started snowing here. So I made a quick pit stop. I am six miles from my location, so let's bounce. So, so far I've used only three bars, if you check here. So the mini consumption was pretty good. I was averaging 75, sometimes doing 80 on the highway. It was a pretty nice ride. I feel a bit tired, my back hurt a little. So these seats are not the best if you are taking a very long trip. Now I will see when I get home how um, my back is going to be. But for now, I'm okay. Let me rip these streets a little bit. This is the B.A. Pocono Mountains. So I made a quick pit stop because I'm a bit tired of driving. So I'm just sitting here to rest a little bit. I just filled up and I'm about 50 miles from my house. When I fill up, it was two dots left. You know, these dots right here, it was two left. And I just filled it up. So the tree was actually, one way was actually about 260 miles. The economy on the mini was pretty, it's, it's pretty great actually. So let me go ahead and just, now drive home, I've just finished rest already. So let me just drive home and then give you guys my review on the car after the trip and everything. So yeah, as you can see, this is what I went to pick behind me. I'm not gonna show you exactly what type of wheels those are. Um, I'm gonna do an unveiling when I place it on the E36. I made it back to the neighborhood. Car is great. The drive was awesome. The drive was awesome, my back hurt. Definitely would not recommend this if you're doing a six hour trip like I did. If you want to drive maybe like three hours at the most, yes, I would recommend you can use this car. But further than that, try to get a different car because the seat is not the best in terms of comfort for long, extended long drive. So I'm in my neighborhood right now and I need to go now to the shop and get a few things done on the E36. So on this note, I see you guys in the next video. Yeah, I also want to point out that the gas mileage when you don't abuse the car, when you just drive and cruise, is excellent. Man, I swear to God, if I was driving with those two dots, I could have made it home, but I just don't like to drive when I don't have any guys in the car. I kind of wanted to try just to see if the car will do 260 two ways and make it back home with one full tank, 
but I think maybe it could, we will never know. On this note, see you guys on the next video and stay safe.